Hello everyone, it's Dave here and uh, <laughs> you may be asking yourself why I am so fucking red? <laughs> it was worse. I, uh, I was on the vacation uh, this weekend, my first vacation in like my life pretty much. And uh, being the cracker that I am, I got sunburned the fuck out of, out of myself. I was literally a hot dog on a beach, <laughs> literally. <laughs> Look at this, like here, I think, oh. I think even my skin is like peeling off or something. Then <laughs> this video should have been like done in the Monday evening pretty much, but I I was so red. Here are the photos. <laughs> Rough, but I could not even like wear my headset. I just was so much in pain that I just could not do it. I was approached by Esther from Real VR Fishing. Real Fishing VR. It's like for some reason it's not spelling like fluidly for me it's not even a word <laughs> to try out the game as well like they have the multiplayer kind of update coming up pretty much i think next week something like that so that's fun more games to try out like <laughs> i guess uh, i'm now relevant i hope though <laughs> but let's just get into it let's let's go real vr fishing is basically like you know, just fishing simulator like si pretty much simulation of how you would fish in real life kind of with an arcadish uh, twist but it's not like apparent it's very balanced out if because there are games that are full on arcades of real life kind of actions but this one is like really well versed in kind of the genre it kind of provides it's definitely something out of my comfort zone like completely i'm not like a fisherman at all i <laughs> i never i mean i think i was maybe like once with my dad fishing i i just hated it because the whole just like having x insects around you and just like you know you can just like kill yourself with a hooking line just uh, it's not my gig <laughs> but like in vr it's like weirdly relaxing because you don't have to deal with this whole bullshit just like in just and like outside <laughs> so that's just pretty much you're enjoying yourself in the space that you choose in like in the environment that you choose on the map unfortunately it's only the south korea kind of spots which i find a little bit weird I'm, maybe the developer is from south korea that's why like it's only available now the rest I think it was written that it's gonna be like a DLC or something like that. And at the same time, uh, the game use, utilizes like this photo something, I still forget how it's called, photo basically scanning the real life photos and just like transferring them into VR to have a highest quality kinda graphics, pretty much. It's like you can't really compete with that because you're not generating the image, the image is directly taken out from the real world so like graphics wise the game is like i feel like the best looking on the quest i mean you can't really compare it to anything else unless there is some other game that's actually using the same technology of a graphical processing in terms of like controls pretty basic stuff you know also like b with just casting to the water your lore and just like hooking uh, the fishes and just like fighting with them <laughs> it's not like street fighter but like really <laughs> it's fun like uh, i would never thought that i would enjoy myself in the like a game like that pretty much so that's fun to try out something outside of your just interests or preferred genres one of the coolest features that i know that i noticed is that you have you can just enter YouTube and just like, you know, watch videos on, on there and just like listen to music or like music from your headset, whatever. But like specifically, you can just do internet and just fishing at the same time because, you know, maybe just some fishes take a lot of time. So you need to have like, I don't know, some nightcore going on in the background and just like, I don't know, some chill music or just some YouTuber that you don't care to watch, but you would gladly listen to. <laughs> like, his face is not really like offensive. No, wait, it is. That's why you don't want to watch. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's 
definitely the coolest feature for me. It seems complex because you have like shop with lures, like different casting rods. There's like aquarium that you can put your fishes that you actually caught as a trophies kinda. It's the like the layout and the UI of the actual game. It seems like there was a lot of work put into it pretty much. Don't mind me, I meet in eating my pizza because it's looking at me here. <laughs> the game is fun, definitely for people who are like amateurs or even like professionals of fishing in real life. In VR, like just avoiding all this drama and conflama with insects, temperature, just going outside, stuff like that. Like in VR it's so much enjoyable. <laughs> so it's definitely for anyone that is interested in this kind of specific sport, I would assume. But also if you never tried that and that's like a good occasion to not just like, you know, completely screw yourself over with just preparation stuff like that. You can just like buy this game, just go into it and just see what's up and yeah. I think I covered pretty much uh, the most major things. Unfortunately I did not uh, get into the multiplayer because no one was playing. <laughs> I basically recorded the footage like the next day that there was an open beta and everyone was playing then. I couldn't because like my face was just like refusing to work with me. But at the same time multiplayer does not seem to be more complex than you would just play with someone on the side. The, this person would do the, exactly the same things that you do. Like just in terms of casting the rod and just like you know maybe like watching YouTube as well, I don't know. So like you can kind of imagine the process. Also with voice chat and stuff, stuff like that, it's not really complicated. So I don't think like I missed out on a lot of things, but at the same time, I did not speak with the actual community that uh, constantly plays this game, so. Oh well, upon deal down, here's the actual footage that I captured and uh, my game play. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, let's first uh, check out the actual game, uh, like the base, not the multiplayer, because uh, I'm not like familiar with the game. Like, <laughs> I'm not familiar with the fishing, I'm not familiar with the game, I'm just like... Oh, or maybe it is actually the final one. <laughs> I, I have three versions of this game, because Oculus just like has this um, update thingy. How to move into lobby, yeah, sure, I mean, smooth for the commotion. No, teleportation. Hello? Okay. Well, hi fishes. <laughs> cool. Cool talk. I think I just skipped the tutorial. Copy MP3 files onto the device music folder to play them in the game. Ooh, wait. MP3 player in the game? Oh, shit. <laughs> wait, uh... Yeah, yeah, thank you. Uh, is it my... the... yeah. <laughs> the boss music <laughs> while catching fish. We'll see about that, but... What's that? Music? YouTube! Ooh. Oh shit, I skipped the tutorial again! <laughs> uh, tutorials, thank you. Let's try... Tackles icon. Yes. This is the kind of selling screen you can select and equip fishing tackles you bought from a store. Okay. I'm not a fisherman. Store is a store. Fish is... A fish. Oh, I can add it to the aquarium the fish I caught. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's multiplayer. Okay. So... I guess... No one's playing, I am assuming. <laughs> so I'm not even sure if I'm gonna like try out the multiplayer at all. Ah oh, well, we'll see, but uh, difficulty, you can be have setting difficulty for catching fish, okay. You need in centimeters pitch, like, <laughs> no one counts in inches. Controller, both, ah. Oh. Turn, fast turn, large environment, real time. Ah, oh, okay, based on the time that I have now. Okay, that's fun. Okay, let me just go somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> I think, of course, I skipped the tutorial, so... There's nothing new here. 
Can we go to the boat? Let's just <laughs> pick a location from the map. Okay, well, uh, we have uh, real VR fishing. I know nothing about this game. I just got it, pretty much. Not, not like just got it, but... Oh, I went somewhere. Oh, that's the actual aquarium? Ooh, it's snazzy, bitch. This is the different, like, menu. Oh, and you can just sit and observe the p fishes that you caught. Whoa, wait, <laughs> there's like the actual sharks there. For a game in quest, it looks like amazing in terms of like textures. If you're talking about fishes, like the environment is like, you know, quest environment, but like the actual fishes look very <laughs> realistic. Hmm, I don't like this. <laughs> Fuck you, sharks. No, 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 get out. <laughs> Let's just go somewhere. Like, I've heard about this uh, game, like, that it's like gorgeous in graphics and stuff like that in terms of uh, fishing locations it seems like where are we on the map? South Korea are we only in South Korea? oh okay global fishing spots will be available as DLCs wait but this game was out for a long time actually <laughs> so there was no DLC? only South Korea okay I wanted to go to Europe or US or something. So... I don't know like what... I know no place in South Korea at all. Let's go to this river I guess. It's actually like raining apparently. Go fishing. <laughs> fishing for me <laughs> is just an excuse to get drunk. That's just the reality of it. Okay, so now I know what's happening, because we know half of Alex that certain developers can use the technology of photo scanning, photo trigonometry, photo something. It's basically taking the actual real, um, real photos of real environments and putting them in VR. That way they are the highest quality you can get pretty much because it's actually real it's like you're not generating it it's like you like you can see those trees and stuff like that it's like it's kinda 3d but kinda flat you can kinda notice and like in the distance there's like a perfect illusion and it's raining but like here in front of you it's kind of like whoa Okay, can we move? No, it's just like one spot. I wish I had a tutorial, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I know how to fish. Those glasses are cheat, like it's cheating. Whoa! Push the trigger button. Oh, hi me. <laughs> you know what? I'll try to search for this tutorial. I feel like I fucked up. Okay, there you go. I just had to actually <laughs> listen to the tutorial and click on the map I had to pick. Okay. Figures out. In normal mode, pressing the trigger button shows the fish in the water. That's chilling. <laughs> fish preference varies depending on the lure you choose. Okay, yeah, that's like f fair. The ch fish will change color. Green means good and red means poor. Change lures by moving thumbstick to the left or right. As you hold down the trigger button, lift the controller and release the button while clicking it, wa waving down. Okay. Do you just have... Okay. Reel in the line by whirling your other controller while pressing the grip on the trigger button. Oh, here. Okay. It's more realistic than I thought. Wind the line slowly to lure the fish. Until... Try until the fish bites the lure. An arrow will appear when a fish bites the door. A big fish occasionally tries to run away quickly, then stop reeling and wait until it comes down. Pull the controller quickly, set a hook now. Roll the controller or press the trigger button to reel the line. Wait, what? They go to the screen and the color. Try to keep going. Oh, like here. 
between red and blue bars. Oh, okay. Come here, bitch. I got you. Hey! When the fish tries to run away, move the controller. Oh, oh, oh. When fish faint. Okay. Come here. Yeah. There you go. Holy shit, the, this quality on it. Level. Max XP or keep it. XP and crits. You can trade the fish with XP or crits. Gaining XP will let you, let you level up and open more stages. With crits, you can buy fishing tackles. Uh, release. Bye! During gameplay, you can listen to music and watch videos. Or even videos! Click close button to, on media screen to turn it off. Can I watch my videos? <laughs> and then you can take a screenshot whenever you want. By person. Oh yeah. I was. Now you are ready to fish. Yay! Sick map and I can switch the stage to go fishing. Okay. Let's go back to the actual... I think we've been to... I think it was this one. Yes! Now we know what's up. Give me my glasses. So we have like lures. Ah, it's here. <laughs> Changes. Okay. <laughs> Let me try this uh, menu because I have an idea. Come here, beach. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> this way. Got you. Got you. Got you. You fat big. Okay, well. Oh, I can't even throw it like, you know, just like that to the water. Ah, just go. Okay, well. <laughs> that seems like pretty much the basics. I'm gonna look up other stages, to be honest, because I'm like. I, this game is like, to me, if I first think about it, it's about graphics and just like, you know, just gorgeous kinda environments. But that's pretty much like, you know... Oh, glasses, thank you. Reel it in, reel it in, reel it in. I'm no fisher, I just fuck around pretty much. But I could definitely see this game being like really... You know... Catering to the fishing audience. Tash tash! Yes? Yes. Yes. Peek! <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> um, more maps. Do we have something else? I mean, pretty much this. What's called? Like this photo. Photo. Something technology. To basically. Have like an advanced kind of. Like on Quest, obviously, we are like. Limited by the environment. Oh, we're actually in the ship now. Ooh. So it's like you pretty much see, like, this is very. Like, I feel like it would. It kind of beats red matter kind of graphics, you know, thing. But to be fair, anything beats graphics uh, if you are using, like, this technology. It's like. It seems kind of cheaty because. You're using the actual real life kind of photos. Um, but hey. If you're like looking for a kind of perfect simulation of like real life thing, which is fishing <laughs> essentially in VR now, I definitely can see this game like real, very appealing to the amateurs or professionals of fishing but it's like straightforward I mean I can definitely uh, see this game like um, having like a d kind of difficulty uh, I'm not gonna take to multiplayer uh, play uh, let me go back to the menu though I wonder how to <laughs> oh lodge yeah okay great go 
It's like also this cool thing that you can keep your fishes that you caught here. This seems like a stock one. <laughs> I guess like in the lobby, uh, second one. You can create or join a room for multiplayer menu on this TV screen. So I'm actually wondering if anyone is playing. Maybe the developer or something, I don't know. Will I cut anyone now? Because I'm like packed with things to do. But I don't think no. Oh well, but I feel like this is gonna be pretty much the same. You're right. You just talk with people and just like you, you catch fish. How different it could be from the actual basic gameplay, right? But I would assume it's like more convenient to catch fish with other people because it's like VR is this kind of technology that should bring people together. <laughs> That's just, because it's simulating real life virtual virtually. So yeah. Uh, spinning rod, casting rod. I actually have no idea what are the meanings of it because I'm not a, <laughs> I'm a <laughs> newbie or noob. Noob is a good one. Leaderboard, fail, check your internet. I don't have internet. Oh, yeah, here. Reset that peak and we have nothing in the aquarium. Okay. Achievement. Push the trigger button to close. Cash, cash, cash. I wonder if I, you can visit other people's uh, aquariums or like, you know, those lodges. That would be cool. It's kind of like this Oculus home kind of thing on the rift. Yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> that, would, that would be actually a simulation of it. <laughs> the gameplay is basic, but like fishing is basic. <laughs> so that's pretty much how it is. Glass wall aquarium. So even with achievements you got like, you know, those rewards. It's a full game of fishing. I, d I can definitely see this being like one of the best ones because if you're using, it's pretty much like this. You put this gameplay because it will work eventually, like, you know, it's not complicated in, like, coding. Unless you just kind of have, like, the fish has IE or something like that. Uh, and if you're putting gorgeous graphics, then, of course, the game would be the best. <laughs> like, what can you kind of ask for more? Right? <laughs> it's not like Iron Man or something like that. It definitely seems casual chill and stuff like that especially like this feature that you can just pull up uh, things from youtube and stuff like that so you can even like i don't know watch uh, maybe my channel <laughs> or watch maybe mike's videos from or virtual oasis like <laughs> by the way like with this uh, headset leak stuff like that i was so behind and of course it's a new headset like jesus like i'm not even gonna talk about it more because Pretty much everyone covered it, but it's obviously gonna be a new headset in the OC8, it's gonna be, or 7, okay, I forgot which one, but yeah, a new quest, huh, we'll see. Other than that, the game seems cool, I mean, can, can should I say more? <laughs> because it works, it's, it has great features and stuff like that, so if you're a fisherman, this is ideal. I'm not a fisherman. But it is still cool. <laughs> also, the UI lo looks snazzy as fuck. <laughs> so aesthetically, it works for me then. <laughs> there you go. That was it. Um, it was like like a cool experience overall. Like it's a solid kind of simulator, I would say. It's like more over a simulator rather than the game kind of. Doesn't mean it's worse than that. Like if the simulation is done well then it can like surpass pretty much everything it's because simulation because the I whole idea of simulation simulators is pretty much just to simulate something that you do in real life but like better kinda and this does that for me even though i don't have like much experience with fishing um this one seems relatively polished to me <laughs> so thanks to esther for giving me the opportunity to try it out like more games to try out more content i could provide like that you know planned and just like edit it kind of my way that i want not like rushing my ass off when there's a release date so just like tomorrow because tomorrow there's onward the actual first fps kind of counter strike something bullshit we'll be doing that it's kind of interesting that pavlov is still on side quest 
Contractors is still on side quest, I think? And out of the blue onward will be releasing tomorrow as an actual first kind of this game of this kind of genre officially. So I don't know how that worked, but okay. <laughs> This week is my last week in work, so that's fun. <laughs> it's hard because just it's just fucking chaos. When that finishes, I'm gonna have another vacation, <laughs> but this time it's gonna be like three weeks, and I'm not gonna be like away. It's kind of like this vacation. I'm gonna s not sacrifice, but like I have so much to record that I want to get done. So you will definitely see more content on my channel. I feel like. Unless it's not gonna be pre-recorded, like I'm gonna be pretty much constantly doing videos uh, at my home in this year. We'll see. Anyways, that was pretty much it, so see you tomorrow. <laughs>